Hello, and welcome to our first GRE math subject test problem. Our goal here is to provide avenues for approaching problems on the subject test in a way that will save you time while taking the test. Uh, so the first problem we'll be talking about, which is our focus today, is the following. So the problem asks, if a function is twice differentiable, real valued, then the quantity given by this limit, the limit as x, h approaches zero of f of x plus h minus f of x minus h over h, is which of the following values? And there's five possible answers here, as you can see on the sheet. Okay, and you notice the answers are in terms of the derivative and double derivative of this function. All right, so it looks like this limit is related somehow to a difference quotient that gives you the derivative of your given function, but it's a little off. Now, for those of you who are familiar and comfortable with this, you might notice that you can express this limit as the sum of two limits that incorporate um, the derivative from the left and the right. But the point of this video is to illustrate that there are techniques to approach problems on the GRE math subject test that will significantly save you time. And in this particular example, a technique is to realize that though this question is about a general function, why not pick a function and see what happens? And if you do that, you might at least eliminate a bunch of answers from your answer choice list. Right, so the particular function I'll pick is a simple quadratic function, the function f of x is x squared. So if you actually compute this limit with the function f of x is equals x squared, right, we'll do the substitution. We get some quadratics on the numerator here in x and h. Right? And you simplify this, you're left with the limit as h for 0 of 4xh over h, which is 4x. So we see from quick um, algebraic manipulation that the derivative, or sorry, the limit that we're interested in computing for this function turns out to be 4x. And that's precisely twice the derivative of the function f of x being x squared. None of the other values, none of the other answers actually work for the given function, and so in general, the answer must be twice the derivative of f of x.